So we found a flake um, that's debitage, and you can see that it's had a platform that likely broke off. That's why I'm taking. But it has the characteristics of the flake. Um, we have the bulb of percussion and the rings of compression and then the feather termination at the end. Um, and one of the coolest parts is that we found this in the feature we've been working on which ranges about two-thirds of our um, quad. Uh, so what we got here is a basalt core, which is a giant chunk of basalt that flakes were worked off of in order to make smaller tools. And right now what we're doing is bringing down the soil under it. Um, it's kind of cool to find something this big. Almost everything starts out looking like a little pebble. And then as the days go by, you kind of expose it and find something awesome like this. And uh, it's also kind of cool, we found a ton of flakes under it actually and all around it. These kinds of large, thin flakes are not uncommon in the slopes of the canyon, so you could just pick one up, bring it to the site. And what's special about this one is someone in the past took this and they struck down to prepare a platform on the edge. Then they turned it over and struck really hard and shot a flake across the surface. And if you can see this, they would have created a rather thin but long flake. Uh, seeing this kind of thing actually as the core helps us understand when we do find really big basalt flakes, what they're driving them off of and how the entire technological continuum from the raw material down to the final pieces is actually constructed. So what we found here is a core. As you can see, this is the platform. And then you can see the areas where it was struck off, right here, above. And then um, we still have to map it and then put an RN number on it as well and get sediment samples around the artifact found. We put the prism in the location of the artifact and then we map it at the toll stations right here. It gets an RN number, we put it in the bag, and then we later do data entry. Chert. Chert, Chert. yeah, it's chert. We're getting the mug board ready for a photo, uh, so they can later, what What exactly, they just take photos so take they can analyze prove, it later on? To yeah. prove where it was. Yeah, to prove where it was, the location, uh, the area it is around. They'll be able to see the Cordovina on it as well. So they could say that it was next to it, but it wasn't necessarily in it. <laughs> uh, well, what we have here is a chert core. This area here would be the uh, flat surface off of which you would strike like this to take off flakes along this edge. We also, along here, have evidence of basically platform preparation, which is where you would um, Basically, you take another rock and rough up the surface here, and it makes it easier to um, for your hitting, you know, striking rock to uh, get a good grip on the surface to knock off a flake. I'm putting, inputting the information about the artifacts we've uncovered into our computer system, so that we have an archive of specific traits of each artifact. Um, this is only the very basic information, you know. Um, what level it was found in, what quad, what unit, that sort of thing. And we have a QR code on these, which um, if you can scan it and it will take you to the appropriate entry in the database without you having to you know, search for numbers on here or anything like that. So here we're in Unit E Northwest, um, in the Northwest Quadrant. We have a dark stain here and we think it's from a fire pit or a hearth that was on the level above this and the, uh, the heat actually changed the color of the sediment. We're finding a lot of fire cracked rock surrounding the remnants of the fire so um, we're finding things like this which is a basalt core 
It was used to create sharper tools to cut things with. This itself wasn't used to cut.